Good CEOs surround themselves with straight talkers. It can be helpful to bring in a person who's completely outside the organization. We call them coaches. While a good deal of coaching involves the exploration of the inner self, it's my experience that many CEOs pretty much know themselves. So coaching focuses on what a CEO can do to help his team succeed. Toward that end, here are three good questions I like to use. One, what are you doing today that will bring about a better future? We live in transactional times that demand transformational thinking. In other words, we act day to day, but we need to be thinking long term. One CEO I know employed a football analogy. Spend 80% of your time looking downfield and 20% of your time at the line of scrimmage. CEOs need to challenge their people to look outside of themselves and their teams to find problems to solve. We must think in a moment, but we must act for the future. Two, what are you doing to develop your people? The CEO sits atop the organization. She's made it, sure, but now comes the hard part. What is she doing to bring out the best in her people? Is she coaching them? Is she asking them to coach their direct reports? What is she doing to help them improve their ability to lead others? All big questions that demand time and thought. Three, what makes you happy? Coaching does get personal. Being a CEO is a 24-7 responsibility. It becomes a lifestyle where time is never really your own. The pace can take a toll. The best CEOs I know make time to reflect, but they also make time for family and friends. They also pursue a hobby or two. One more thing. Sometimes the best thing a coach can do is be a cheerleader, to remind the big boss that he or she is doing what they think is right. Who knows what the future will bring, but you do your best in the moment.